Over the last couple of decades, there's been research from a number of different organisations that's helped our understanding greatly of the sources, transport, fate and impacts of sediment that's been eroded in the catchment, that's moved into the streams and then gone out into the Great Barrier Reef. Well, I guess erosion is an issue in the Great Barrier Reef in general because we get a lot of fine sediment coming down through floods and that smothers corals um, and it, it reduces the amount of light actually getting onto the seabed. So we're working in what we call the triple B, or the Bowen Broken Bogey Catchments. The particular problem that we have is that these three catchments produce almost a quarter of the total fine sediment finding its way into the reef. The scale of the problem that we've got is beyond the means of any one grazier. But the BMP program stands for Best Management Practice, and it sets best management practices for grazing with a clear focus around water quality. Programs like BMP will, will get the industry to a particular standard or level of performance. What we know from the water quality monitoring though is that we need transformational change and that's where the Land Holders Driving Change project comes in. A core element of the project is actually bringing together graziers and all the knowledge that they have from managing the land every day of their lives uh, with scientists who understand the processes that drive erosion. Over the last decade or so we've seen really improvements through a number of different government initiatives that have helped reduce the amount of erosion from the landscape. I think a lot of people feel that we're fighting a losing battle in relation to the reef, that the problems are so big and so intractable that we just don't have the solutions for them. I feel like we've actually got an opportunity this, with, with this project to actually show that we can do it and then hopefully scale that up to other catchments across the GBR.